What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody had a great week. My apologies for not making any videos lately. Uh, been uh, kind of busy at work there, and then plus we're doing some stuff around the house. So, you know, just regular touching up and stuff like that. It's always a fun thing to do, right? Um, but anyway, <laughs> we're glad to be back. And uh, so let's get started. We have a photo on, it is of uh, Apollo 16. And I'm going to show you that right now. And uh, I'll tell you, this is this is pretty cool because... When I saw this, I was like, well, that's really nothing there. But when you really get into this photo, you start to see what I'm talking about, right? So this is the Apollo 16. It's called CSM. And you can see the photo here. And if we go down to the bottom, there's a little uh, description viewer from, well, view from a lunar module, which you can't see, of command and service module. The SM is over here in the background and uh, Earth over lunar horizon. Now, when you hit the zoom button, which end up is basically another tab that opens up, and then you just get just a photo, right? So let's have a look. Now, for some reason, I don't know what's going on here, but the photo I have is much clearer than this. Um, I'm not sure why this is uh, just looks like garbage, to be honest with you. Um, and I'm not really feeling this whole thing here either because it doesn't, it seems like there's more trickery going on. And you'll see what I mean because you can see the contrast. You can see the earth in the background. You see the moon. You go, well, it looks about right. It's kind of, kind of a crappy photo. And you've got this fuzziness. I'll zoom right in and you'll see what I'm talking about. And uh, you can see it right there. It's like really fuzzy. Well, so is the moon, right? Or the lunar surface. Well, let me show you what I've got. But before I do that, let me just show you this. The area we're looking at is right here. And even then, I don't even see the details that I see in my photo. See, I've had mine on my hard drive for quite a, quite a while. Um, so I don't know if they just went back through these things or somehow just uh, they just happen to put a lower res photo on the site. For whatever reason, you know, it doesn't really matter, right? But let's jump right into this because I want to show you um, this is it right here. Now I can zoom in quite a bit, and you can see just by backing out, there is some actual better quality to this, right? Um, even when I zoom in, you can still see that's pretty clear. You can see the ALM over here, and if you can still see Earth is pretty clear. But yeah, look at the look at the lunar surface. Why does it always look like garbage? Um, I can take out my uh, telescope and see better than this. But regardless, we have a better photo compared to what they have. And what we're looking at is right here. Now, you may say, well, I don't see a thing there, man. All I see is like what looks like a crater. And to a certain degree, you'd be right. Because if you look, you've got bigger craters here. And I don't know if I'd call this a crater right here because I don't see any wall at all to the crater. That doesn't mean it's not a crater just because a crater is what? It's just basically depression in the ground, right? Uh, so, you know, the, you know, we got all kinds of craters right here so on and so forth. But what I looked at was what was in it. And I'm going to show you that up close right now. I'll tell you what got my attention because when I was looking at this, it appears to have this white piece that kind of wraps around here and then drops down. I don't know if you guys can see that. See it right there? I'm just going to go ahead and circle it. It, it appears to have some kind of design to it. Now you might say, well, how do you get a design out of this? Well, what I did was, and I'll show you why, or what I did. Um, so... You can actually do a little equalization here as well as a little blur to try to make this a little clearer, right? So let's click on that. And you can see it's a little bit better now. And you can see this a little bit more defined right there, right? And what I'm seeing is some kind of top piece right here. And then this piece goes like this all the way around. And you'll see this much better in a moment. It appears to be, and of course you can't see it the other side. It just kind of, that's it, you don't see anymore. But anyway, so what I did was I made this black and white, and then what happened is, you'll see what I did. Um, I, I then took the dodge tool, and you guys can do this. Watch this. Anything that's white, it'll just come out whiter. See it? I mean, you can do that quick. Of course, I didn't do it this quick. I did it. I took a lot more time with it, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. Now, and you can see right there. See it? Bring it out, and you can see what looks like right here in the circle. In this area here, it looks like these four squares. This piece right here looks like this long piece, like a platform sticking out. And I was just like, wow, what is that? And you can actually see there's something over here, too. You'll see this in a moment, too, because I bring this a, a whole lot better. And then what I do is I just kind of circled it and then put a uh, yellow and blue filter on it, right? And this is what we got. And there's something I want you guys to pay close attention to, because this is pretty wild. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for everybody who's on their smaller devices. But what I was looking at was this item right here. And let me show you why I was kind of curious about that. Because it appears that the sun may be coming from this direction. Coming down. Why do I say that? Well, when I looked at this, 
I'm seeing, and if you look at this closely, and I'm going to bring this way in so you guys can really see this, especially on your phones, it should look up pretty decent. It does this, goes like this, goes around to the back side of this, and it has perfectly two dark spots and then one slightly smaller one right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But what I noticed was, like I said, with the sun coming from the other, from the back, it looks like coming down this way. I'll show you what I mean. It seems like this piece here, I'm going to do it again, outline it, but then it seems like, well, it ends here. And it seems like this end of this seems to be in the sun. And the rest of this, all of this here, appears to be maybe shadowed from the rest of this here. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm talking about, but you can see that right there. It seems like all of this here, of this little piece up to this point, is all shadowed from the larger object. And the rest of this is actually in the sun, out from under the shadow. What do you guys think about that? Now, I'm just going to back up a little bit. And you can see what looks like these weird, I don't know what the heck to make of those, but there's dual, there's two of them, and they're running exactly the same direction. So, I mean, what do you guys think this thing is? It looks like some kind of structure. I don't know if you can see this, too. It's a little bit, it kind of wraps around. You can see there's actual straight lines coming out of this. There's another one that looks like right here. And then it continues on like this here and then back down. And you can see where it stops. This kind of wraps around. Of course, you wouldn't see the other side, right? Because it would be on the side where you can't see. And then, of course, you've got all of this here. Now, I don't know if this stands down like this. It kind of looks like it has that, doesn't it? See it? Well, it kind of goes like this. It looks like it drops down. It's hard to tell. This is still a bad quality photo, to be honest with you. And, you know, I'm willing to accept the fact that this is just poor resolution. But that doesn't look natural to me. At least in my eyes, it doesn't. And let me show you something else I think you guys will like. Now, there's a bunch of these little things in here you guys can check out. I mean, you don't necessarily have to zoom in. I'm at 200%. You can see right here in the lower corner. Uh, I'm at 200%. You can just do 100%, right? And um, Or just click on the photo. Don't zoom into it. And then use your eyeglass. And you'll see some cool things in here that clearly do not look like they're natural. Uh, when they drop down to here, this is what I found. I'm looking at this over here. And I can see this brighter area. It almost looks like a, a semicircle. Then there's this little line going across... I don't know how well you guys can see this, but one, two, three, looks like another fourth or something like that. And this thing kind of like wraps around. And I'm saying, what is that? Um, and then you've got this other whiter object, and it looks like it's got something dark, two little darker spots, almost like it looks like some kind of square thing going on here. And then it's connected, and so, and then there's something larger that's dark right here. Now watch this. This is what I mean by it. So I started jumping into it, and I'm like, whoa, what is that? And this is what I end up getting. So I'm not sure what that is either. That may be, it doesn't appear to be a crater because whatever it is, is actually standing up. It's got some height to it. See it? To me, if it's something that large, it's going to be a lot bigger and it's going to be below the ground, or at least below the rest of the um, lunar uh, surface, right, um, to make that crater. Well, I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing it's actually, it looks like it's right here is the base. And you can see what looks like two little things sticking out right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it keeps going like this. And it, again, it looks like it's got height to it as opposed to uh, something sunk in the ground. It's another thing that's a little, a little weird. I didn't circle or do anything like that. But when I'm looking at it, I'm just going, well, what kind of thing does that shapes out like that? Let me just do this real quick. Put it back to normal. This right here. And then you've got this below it. Now, this is the this is the normal pick now, guys. I didn't do anything to this until you get down to until I do that. And all I do is highlight the actual... Uh, lighted signature areas right but just looks a little strange this thing right here and of course you've got these you've got one two three they all look like they're in this kind of arch formation on the ground what do you make of that and of course we got this right here which looks like there's one two things sticking out of the ground on this whiter or lighter platform like that you see that see those right there let me just zoom in a little here a bit more what do you suppose that is, guys? Right there. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think, man. Is this is this something that uh, looks like a structure to you? Is it a craft? It looks more to me like a structure because we can see these other pieces right here. Whoop, my bad. Uh, you can see these other pieces here going to or from this other object. So whatever that is, uh, I would have to say it's a structure. Now, uh, again, you guys always get the last say. You let me know what you think it is, right? So anyway, guys, like I said, I apologize for not making a video sooner, but they're going to be coming out more, uh, no doubt about that. We got some more on Mars coming up. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Always appreciated. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one.